Hello, how are you? So Space Mesh has been going for about a year and a bit now, and it's getting quite big actually. So the blockchain itself is getting quite big. So trying to keep in sync is actually quite, takes ages now, I don't know why. So these guys here <laughs> invented QuickSync, and it tells you run a QuickSync. It'll tell you straight up if um, you're way behind and do a quick sync. So basically, I think it's just downloading a, a zipped version of the actual um, state SQL, which is the, the whole blockchain for Space Mesh. Now they tell you they prefer to do it the usual way. So sync as usual, you can see there. You can do that or you can just click, um, if you go to network, run a quick sync and you can do it there. So, but I tried it and it just takes forever. I mean, each time I'm doing it and I'm waiting, I'm waiting like three or four days. I don't know what the hell's happening. And even um, on the old one and on the quick sync. So, and each time I go and I think I'm nearly done, it updates a new bloody version. And I keep every, every <laughs> so I've got to keep updating the versions down here. See, so you see, you see. <laughs> so the best way I've found is to download it directly. Uh, it still takes ages, but it's what it's way faster. So all you got to do is just go to quicksync.spacemesh.network, and that's it. And in here, it'll actually tell you a little message here. Please specify the latest version, but just do slash latest. So if you type slash latest, and then it'll um, download the state dot st. Now ZST is like zip. Once you've got that, currently it's around it's uh, 43 megabytes, uh, 43 gig. So and then that'll deflate to about 80 gig. Okay, so download WinRA, right click, WinRA, open with WinRA, click on it and extract and just extract it to the same folder, I guess. And it's as of the 30th of the 6th, 2024, it's 45 gig. And it's going to extract to 97 gig. So it's quite massive, right, actually. Okay, so it's 95 gig. Bloody hell, it's massive. Now you've got to replace that with the one that's in there. Now, if you have a look at it, we're currently syncing. And it's 1009730. All right, I'll just write that down just to show you that it actually increases it. So... I'm just from history, I know that this is going to take like a couple of days. I don't know why. I've got 34 users connected to it. It just takes ages. And running quick sync took just as long anyway. Anyway, what you've got to do then, you've got to go to the app data here in Space Mesh, no data, the number, and then here you have the state.sql. So currently it's 26 gig and it's downloading. You can see it moving, it's downloading. Now I've got to go to 95 gig. <laughs> you, you, do, you, do you understand? It's just way too long. I don't know why. Downloading it outside of the program, outside of Space Mesh, it took like, you know, probably about two or three hours. But this, the way the speed is moving, it's going to take like days, if not weeks. So anyway, so the first thing you got to do is close space mesh you don't want that uh, updating while it's happening and then just get rid of everything except that Genesis JSON file now find that file that you downloaded and call it stat SQL and cut that put it back in here space mesh no data the number and paste that so 95 gig there all the other files will get generated when you start it up I hope <laughs> all right so that's done so now to start up space mesh all good so far nothing crashed it's syncing well it would be starting from the beginning 
but I uploaded the 95 gig one, so it should start from 95 gig and catch up to what we are today. I don't think that file we downloaded was exactly up till today, like the minute. It's probably like a few days old or it said slash latest, so that's the latest one that they've got there. If you go to network, it's preparing the node cache and everything, and you can see that it recreated all the other files that I deleted. It's the state.sql is the main one that you really need. That's the actual blockchain, I guess, or the, well, I don't know what it's called, but that's, that's the whole chain. So with that, you'll have every single transaction on their chain. This is the only way I've, I've been known how to get it back up and running because I want it to be up and running with the latest um, data in the chain so I can get rewards. You want it to be in sync so you can get your rewards. I'll tell you what, this is not, this is probably one of the most trickiest cryptos out there. <laughs> if you ask me, there's a, it's, imagine doing the Unix one. Anyway, <laughs> that's what makes it fun, I guess. It's a bit of a challenge. So hopefully that translates into not many people do it. So the, there's not that many coins out there. So it's, it's worth more, it's more valuable. I, I don't know. I just made that bit up. But the less there are, the more valuable a, a coin is, a token. So let's come back um, while, because this takes a while in itself, and I'll show you uh, what number we're up to. Before I replaced the state.sql file, it was 1009 So it's like three times the amount now. So yeah, that, that's just the, so you can tell you yeah, that's about right because it was 30 gig, now it's 90 gig. So yeah, about three times the amount. So you can see that saved us a lot of time just to, in syncing. It's still syncing because I guess um, since I downloaded it, um, there's been more blocks, I guess. Yeah, that's the word, blocks. Anyway, there's 51 people connected neighbor wise so hopefully it goes fast this time and you can see in my wallet i've got some smashes in there uh, on a side note everything's gone down to smidges now so you know you're not getting the smhs that you were once it's all down to smidges now so that must be getting the they must be getting harder to mine i guess the difficulty has increased i think that's how that works but anyway, that's networking. If you have a look at the folder, uh, the local SQL is updating. So this one here is the one that should be updating. Yeah, I just saw that move. Also, what happened, my C drive is filling up. So I need to get this 95 gig off it and onto a hard drive somewhere else. So you can do that. I'll show that in the next video. So if your C drive is filling up because the blockchain is growing and growing and growing, now I'm not talking about the one terabyte that you're that's uh, that you farmed. This is just the blockchain on your C drive, you know, in your slash apps uh, folder, node data folder. If that's filling up because well, it's already 95 gig, you know, and uh, my C drive is only 120 gig, so. Um, what I had to do is I had to move it over to, I had to move the blockchain over to a separate hard drive and relink it. But I'll show you that in the next video anyway. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you later.